we are going to provide some uh, Nigerian passport to protect the refugees from unauthorized measures. We also have us to provide up to prevention of the refugees in the websites so that our other the authorized users can access those pages. So we here if you see the system message like authorization required. So if you refresh the page, then it actually asks the username and password to access the web page. So in order to protect the web pages, uh, it's a simple method how we have or uh, how we can protect the web pages from unauthorized users. So uh, over here we are going to use the ST access and the ST password to prevent the web page from unauthorized access. So we need just need to create two files, a one name ST access and another name ST password. So in the ST access we can use we can just read this information uh, and we can just create the file and over here uh, uh, this path name actually is from here to here which is the actual document with path and this is the actual location of the ST passport file and we see how the ST passport file looks like so over here the ST file ST passport file looks like this one. Okay. The first one is the username and the second one is the password. But we need to put the encrypted password. So how do we encrypt the password and paste it over here? So if we, we have some um, online tool to generate the ST um, and the encrypted password. Over here we are going to use the ST password generator. So if you go put some information and username and password then we generate the password in the encrypted form so later on we can use this information to get access to the web page so what we is say we can put password and admin admin password we we'll see what it generates so over here it generates the system This is the password, but when we really need to access to the web pages, we actually have to use a string rather than this string. So we are going to use this one over here and push it over here and save it. Mm -hmm. Right now we have just created a two file. The first one is the ST access and the second one is the ST password. Now we need to create a simple HTML file so that we can put in that file to get access. So this is the simple file and it doesn't put the money to so this is just a simple text over here and we are going to save this file. I think it's already been saved. So so here we have created Texas, the C password and the index HTML file. Now let's go and go and try whether it works properly or not. Let's try again. Let's put something. No, it doesn't work. Let's put something. The word is in the password. I'm going to use the text string password over here rather than the encrypted string. Over here we just get access to pages. This is how we can use the ST access and the ST password. 